As COVID cases continue rising during this newest surge, some Valley companies have or are considering making the vaccine a requirement for employment. And the NFL also taking steps to push more players to get vaccinated. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia is live with the story. Nicole. Banner Health was the first major employer in the Valley to mandate vaccine. We do not need to see another large spike within our communities uh, of this disease when we have this tool available. Hospital officials sending an urgent plea for more people to get the COVID vaccine. Valleywise Hospital is seeing an increase in the number of COVID patients in its intensive care unit. And those that have not been vaccinated have those severe COVID-19 disease symptoms that often may require you to have you know, complications requiring hospitalization uh, and unfortunately, the ultimate complication in death. Valleywise plans to follow Banner Health in mandating employees to get the vaccine. Meanwhile, the NFL is threatening consequences if a COVID outbreak in a team results in a canceled game. The NFL alerted its owners today that teams with COVID outbreaks among unvaccinated players will forfeit a game and be credited with a loss and could also face financial penalties. It's conditional vaccination. The NFL simply saying there are now conditions upon which if you're not vaccinated, well, we're going to have to enforce. It feels like and will likely have the impact of a vaccine mandate on players. Cardinals wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins posted on Twitter, quote, never thought I would say this, but being put in a position to hurt my team because I don't want to partake in the vaccine is making me question my future in the NFL. And according to the NFL Network, 78% of players have had at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. Meanwhile, here in Arizona, statewide, about half the population is vaccinated. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.